Conversations with a Cougar, a testimony by Jerusha Ejen. First Thessalonians five seventeen and 18. Pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. As I walked up the hill leading to an overlook with a view into the mountain lion exhibit, I meowed. It was a deeper meow than a house cat would produce, a tone I had mastered in the past year. My cougar language lessons had begun when I was a zoo volunteer, and the mountain lion, Sheba, meowed at me from her exhibit. I meowed back. And much to my surprise, she responded in kind. From then on, every week when I stopped to observe her, we had a delightful conversation. That morning, though, I knew circumstances were different. A male mountain lion had been added to the exhibit, but I was still counting on my usual chat with my cougar friend. I reached the overlook and found Sheba resting by logs and rocks on the hill in the center of the exhibit. I meowed again. No response. She aimed her gaze at me, but didn't open her mouth. My conversations with a cougar were over. I felt like I'd lost a friend that day, all because she had gained one. Perhaps... She had wanted to talk to me only because she was lonely or because she hoped I could meet some need. Once she had a cougar pal, she didn't want me anymore. Later, I was struck by the reflection of myself in her behavior. When I'm aware I have a need, I get chatty with God, frequently going to Him in prayer. But as soon as life is smooth sailing or I find a person who can help me, my prayers decrease. I must remember that I always need conversations with God. They aren't for Him, they're for me. Talking to God meets my every need, even when I think I don't have any. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Joseph M. Scriven. Tell me what a friend we have in Our sins and griefs to bear And what a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Oh, what peace we often forfeit Oh, what needless pain we bear
Everything to God in prayer 